still on open channels, uh, most efficient uh, sections. So these are open channels that can uh, carry the same discharge as other channels but having uh, the least uh, perimeter. So pareho lang yung discharge, kaya lang, okay, mas maliit lang yung dimension niya, okay, which means if we have this uh, perimeter, least material din yung gagamitin to construct your channel and uh, least excavation or least earthworks. So starting with a rectangular uh, channel. So we have uh, first how to determine the perimeter. This is the perimeter is for the base plus twice the uh, depth. So this perimeter we are, we are applying calculus. This is differential. But before that, uh, we have the area is equal to uh, the base ta times the, uh, the base width or the width of the channel times the depth. So we have the equivalent of the base width as area divided by the depth. So did you think the value of the base in the first equation? Perimeter is equal to area over depth plus twice the depth. Or this is the same as perimeter, area, depth plus negative 1 plus twice the depth. Then we perform differentiation. So this is a differential perimeter is not equal to area. Take note our variable is the depth, constant area. So this is a bring down as so we have area times d raised to negative 1, bring down the exponent, negative 1 minus 1. Plus, and this is okay, times the differential depth, plus twice differential depth. So dividing all terms, I with differential depth. So the differential perimeter with respect to the depth is equal to negative area d raised to negative 2 plus uh, 2. So we are applying minimum, minimum perimeter. How to determine the minimum? Set the perimeter to uh, 0. So this is the same as 0 equal to negative area. This is negative uh, raised to negative 2. So we have d squared plus uh, 2. Then we have transpose a over d squared is equal to 2. So we have the area, the area of the most efficient rectangular section should be equal to 2D squared. So that is the area. The area of the most efficient rectangular section should be equal to twice the depth squared. So can we now determine what will be the equivalent of the base width? Okay. So if we have the depth, what will be the dimension of the width of this rectangular uh, channel? We have this equation. So we have the base width, the base width is equal to area divided by the depth. So we have the base width should be equal to area, what is our area? This is equal to, we have 2 d squared divided by d. So we have the, the base width should be equal to twice the depth. Ayan. So this will be the dimension of the most efficient rectangular section. What will be the equivalent of the hydraulic radius? Uh, or first, the perimeter muna. So, wetted perimeter is equal to the base plus 2 depth. So, we have the wetted perimeter is equal to what is equivalent of the base width. That is equal to twice the D plus twice the D. So, the perimeter of the most efficient rectangular section should be equal to 4 times the depth. And then lastly, we have the hydraulic radius. Hydraulic radius is equal to area divided by the wetted perimeter. So R, uh, what is our area? That is 2D squared. What is our wetted perimeter? That is equal to 4 times the depth. So the hydraulic radius of the most efficient rectangular section is simply the depth over 2. Okay, so ito lang naman yung mga key points pagdating sa most efficient uh, rectangular section. The area, the wetted perimeter, the hydraulic uh, radius. But if you are to observe, We are to observe this one, if the base, if the depth is D and your width is equal to 2D, okay? So if, uh, we can have uh, we can have the most efficient section by simply uh, thinking that the most efficient rectangular section is simply half of a square. 
Yan. So, kalahati lang siya ng square. Uh, most of the most efficient uh, most efficient sections for open channels are half of regular polygon. Pag sinabi natin regular polygon, all sides are equal. Uh, all interior angles are equal. So, for example, we have this square. How do we create the most efficient section, uh, section uh, just to avoid differential calculus? So we have, if this is, if, if the most efficient rectangular section is half of a square, okay, so we have to half the square, then ignore the upper portion, and this will be your okay, open channel or the efficient section. So, always start with the depth. Magsimula lang kayo sa depth. Okay. If you are to observe the depth, yung depth is kalahate, half of one side of the square. Okay? So, D is half of the side of the square. If D is half of the side of the square, what is this dimension? Which is the width of the rectangular channel. That will be twice the depth. So, if you are to determine the area, area is 2D times D. That is 2D squared. The same as this one, or yung area natin kanina. The same as the area from uh, differential calculus. If you are to determine the weighted perimeter, that is the same as 2D plus D, also D on this side. So the same as 4D. Alright, the same as this. And lastly, we have the hydraulic radius equal to area divided by weighted perimeter. So we have hydraulic radius equal to 2D squared divided by uh, 4D. So we have R is the same as D over 2. So the same as this one. So the other way is uh, through differential calculus using maxima minima. This one is uh, using half of regular polygons. So those are the most efficient uh, sections when it comes to open channel. So that is for... This is for a rectangular section. So what about triangular section? Okay, so for the most efficient triangular section, the same. Kalahati lang din siya ng uh, square. Pero anong gagawin natin sa, uh, sa square na yun? We are to rotate it about. Uh, we are to rotate that square about forty-five degrees. Okay, so for example, this is your square. You are to rotate the square forty-five degrees. So this is uh, forty-five degrees and uh, forty-five degrees. So obviously, the vertex angle of the most efficient triangular section will be, and this will be 90 degrees. Alright? Then, get the half, ignore the upper portion. Yeah, tanggalin nila yung kalahati sa taas. This is already your most efficient triangular section. So we have, starting with the depth. Oh, this is the depth D. What will be the dimension of the top base? So the area of the triangle will be equal to, this is let's say the top base, one half of base times the depth. So what is the equivalent of the top base? Kung you observe ninyo, yung top base is the diagonal of the square. How about what is D? So D is half of the diagonal. Therefore, the top base is twice the depth. Or this is by... 45 degrees, 1 is to 1. So this is the same as D, D. So the top base is equal to 2D. So we have the area of the most efficient triangular section will be equal to 1 half. What is equivalent of the top base? 2D times D. The area of the most efficient triangular section is simply this squared. So yun lang naman siya. Alright? So that will, that will be the area. Then if you are to determine the weighted perimeter, weighted perimeter are the sloping sides, the say uh, Z. So by Pythagorean theorem, right, this is D, this is D, this is Z. 
We have the value of z is equal to uh, d squared plus uh, d squared. Or the value of z is equal to square root of 2 times the depth. So, weighted perimeter. Okay, our weighted perimeter is okay, one sloping side, another sloping side. side. This is twice up uh, z. So, weighted perimeter will be equal to twice of the square root of 2 of the depth. That is the weighted perimeter. Hydraulic radius is now equal to area divided by weighted uh, perimeter. What is the area of the most efficient triangular section? That is d squared. Weighted perimeter, 2 square root of 2 of the depth. So we have the hydraulic radius is the same as a square root of 2 per 4 of the depth. So ito naman yung hydraulic radius na most efficient triangular section. That is, also, kalahati lang din ang square, but rotated. At 45 degrees, or basically, yung vertex angle niya should be 90 uh, degrees. Okay, then lastly, we have the trapezoidal. Okay, so if we are to proceed with the most efficient trapezoidal section, so still, okay, let's say it is half of a regular polygon, that will be half of a hexagon. So, if we, for example, we have this regular hexagon, all you have to do is cut the half, then ignore yung upper part, just ignore the upper part, then this is already your okay, most efficient Trapezoidal uh, section. So if you are to divide this uh, trapezoid, uh, this yes, trapezoid into triangles, we will be having equilateral triangles. So this side is equal to this side, this side to the sloping side. Again, equal at yet since equilateral uh, triangle. So if we have the depth, let's say this is uh, the depth, and this is uh, your side, say. The inclination of this side will be 60 degrees. What will be equivalent of uh, Z in terms of D? That is also the same as side B. So side B is the same as side uh, Z. So we have the top base is the same as dalawang Z or dalawang twice the bottom wing. That is the dimension of the top base. So we can use the function of sine Sine of 60 degrees is equal to opposite D divided by your hypot hypotenuse is a Z. So we have the value of Z, the same as the value of B is equal to a D divided by sine of 60 degrees. So we have the value of Z, the same as the value of B. So what is 1 over sine 60? So the sine uh, sin of six, one over sine of sixty is twice the square root of three over uh, three of the depth. So what will be the equivalent of your uh, top base? So top base is twice of b. So this is the same as twice. What is the value of b? Twice the square root of three over three of the depth. So the dimension of the top base will be equal to four the square root of three divided by three of the depth. Okay, then, can we now compute for the area? Okay, so the area, 
A quadratic side is top base plus uh, bottom base divided by two times the depth. We have the area is equal to top base. That is, we have four the square root of three over three of the depth plus what is the value of the bottom base? Ito yan, the same as the value of z. That is equal to twice the square root of three over three of the depth. This is all over. Okay, all over two. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, divided by 3 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. The area is multiplied by the depth. So, the area is equal to the square root of 3 of the square. So, this is the area. And the area the most efficient trapezoidal uh, section. How about the wetted perimeter? Wetted perimeter is basically the two sloping sides and the bottom width. But they are all equal to Z or equal to uh, B. That is the same as 3 times B equal to 3 times. As the value of B, we have 2 square root of 3 divided by 3 of the depth. So we have the weighted perimeter is not equal to twice the square root of 3 of the depth. So this is the most efficient trapezoidal se section perimeter. Okay, 2 square root of 3 over uh, 2 square root 3 times the depth. And then lastly, we have the hydraulic radius is equal to area divided by the wetted perimeter. Hydraulic radius is equal to area, what is our area? The square root of 3 of the square. This is divided by, we have the wetted perimeter is twice the square root of 3 of the D. So simply, the hydraulic radius of the most efficient trapezoidal section is simply equal to D over 2. Yeah. So, yun lang siya. The same as the most efficient uh, rectangular section. Pareho sila ni trapezoid. So, let's have an example. My example for open channel. So an open, uh, open channel, most efficient uh, section. <coughs> so an open channel is to be designed to carry 1.5 cubic meters per second at a slope of 0 0.007. The channel material has an end value of 0 0.012. Uh, requirement, the depth of flow for the most efficient rectangular section, triangular section, then uh, the trapezoidal section. We're looking for the depth per, uh, per case. So, nahin natin, uh, letter A, we have the most efficient rectangular section. So, ano na nga ba yung equivalent nito? That is the same as twice the depth. Kung nakalimutan, okay, just create your okay, half of the regular polygon. That is a square. So, base go to twice the depth. So, you have uh, discharge go to area times uh, velocity. Discharge go to area. Velocity is 1 over n, hydraulic radius raised to 2 over 3, s raised to 1 half. Alright, so we have the discharge, this is equal to 1.5. What is the area of the most efficient rectangular section? So the area is equal to 2d squared, so 2d times a d. So this is equal to twice of the depth squared. This is 1 over uh, roughness coefficient 0 0.012 Hydraulic radius Ano yung hydraulic radius nito kanina? The hydraulic radius is simply equal to D over 2 Alahati lang ng depth So this is the same as uh, D over 2 This is raised to 2 over uh, 3 Hydraulic slope is equal to 0 0.007 Raised to 1 half So we are looking for the depth Okay, is equal to 0.0.51 0 0.51 of 
5 meters. So, yung ganun galalin yung uh, tubig. So, that, that will be the depth for the most uh, efficient, uh, most efficient uh, rectangular uh, section. So, let us just check. We have letter B. For letter B is the most efficient triangular section. So what will be the depth? So take note that this is uh, 90 degrees. We have the depth. Okay, the top base is twice the depth. We have the area is equal to okay, 1 half of 2D times a D. The area is the same as D squared. Weighted perimeter. Uh, hindi natin kailangan yung weighted perimeter na to, I think. The hydraulic radius is the same as the square root 2 over 4 of the depth. So again, we have this equation. We have discharge is equal to area 1 over n. Hydraulic radius is 2 over 3. S raised to 1 half. So the discharge is equal to 1.5 area. That is the same as this square. This is 1 over uh, roughness coefficient 0 0.012 Hydraulic radius is the square root of 2 over 4 of the depth This is raised to 2 over 3 S 0 0.007 raised to okay, 1 half So we are computing for the depth It's equal to 0 point. This will be equal to 0 0.729 meter. Okay, so yun naman yung depth of water kapag ginawa siya ang most efficient triangular uh, section. Then yung last requirement. Okay, the last requirement is a trapezoidal section or the most efficient trapezoidal section. Okay, so we have the depth is unknown. What is the area of the most efficient? A new area of the most efficient trapezoidal section. This is the square root of 3 of this square. How about the weighted, uh, the hydraulic radius? The hydraulic radius, kapareho lang sa ng hydraulic radius ng rectangular section. That is the D over 2. Okay, so ito yung property of the most efficient trapezoidal uh, section. So we have the area or the discharge of the area. 1 over n, hydraulic radius raised to 2 over 3, s raised to 1 half. So we have a discharge of 1.5, area is the square root of 3 of the square. This is 1 over 0 0.012, hydraulic radius, the same as the most efficient rectangular section. That is d over 2 raised to 2 over 3, and s 0 0.007 raised to 1 half. So let us compute for the depth of the most efficient trapezoidal section.
And it will be equal to 0 0.544 meter. Okay, so those are the depths per uh, efficient section. Okay, application of most efficient section. So a rectangular channel that is uh, 1.2 meters deep and 5.4 meters wide slopes at 0 0.02. Use map this coefficient n is equal to 0 0.013. Find the same fix in excavation per meter length if the said channel will be placed by the most efficient rectangular section. So, at yung initial direction ng channel, so magkoconsider lang tayo dito ng 1 meter length. Let, let us assume that the length of this channel is equal to 1 meter. So, we have the volume of excavation, initial, so sabihin na lang na initial volume of excavation, that is uh, 5.4 times uh, 1.2 meters times 1 meter length. So, ito yung initial uh, volume of excavation kapag hindi pa siya yung efficient uh, section. So, 5.4 by uh, 1.2. So, it will be 6.4, uh, 6 point. 6.48 uh, cubic meter. This is the volume of soil that yung mauho kay per 1 meter length of the channel. So we have to replace this channel with the most efficient section. So sabi natin, uh, yeah, we are to use efficient section, we are to use least perimeter. So which means least volume of excavation. Okay, so first, we need to determine the initial uh, discharge. So we have the discharge for the area times the velocity. Discharge for the area, velocity by Manning's 1 over n, r is to over 3, s raised to uh, 1 half. So we have the discharge, what is the area of this uh, rectangular channel? We have 5.4 by, by 1.2. This is multiplied by 1 over roughness coefficient 0 0.01 uh, 3. Hydraulic radius is area. Ano yung area? 5.4 by 1.2. Wetted perimeter, that is 5.4 plus twice of uh, 1.2. This is raised to uh, 2 over 3. Hydraulic slope, that is equal to 0 0.02 raised to 1 half. So let us just uh, compute the discharge so we have a discharge of 60 uh, 62.29 uh, 297 cubic meter per second So, if we are to replace this open channel with an efficient section It should be able to carry the same discharge So, di ba para may sense na papalitan mo yung existing rectangular channels, channel with an, with an efficient section Dapat the same discharge uh, capacity so we have in the rectangular section, let's say the base D is equal to 2D and the depth should be equal to D. So ito yung dimension of the most efficient uh, rectangular section. So alam natin yung details nito last time. The area is equal to, uh, to the square hydraulic radius is D over 2. So let us determine first the depth. So this charge is equal to area 1 over n, hydraulic radius raised to 2 over 3, s raised to 1 half. So what is the discharge capacity of the existing channel? That is equal to 62.297. Area, what is the area of the most efficient rectangular section? This is 2d squared. Okay, 1 over n, this is 1 over 0 0.01. Okay, 0 Hydraulic radius of the most efficient rectangular section is we have d over 2, this is raised to 2 over 3, the same slope 
0.02 raised to 1 half. So we'll be having the depth. Okay, let us compute the depth. So we have a depth of 1.764 meters. So, so that will be the depth of the new uh, channel. So let us determine the volume of excavation kapag yun yung kanyang uh, depth. So we have a depth equal to 1.764 meters. So what will be the value of the base or the width? So alam natin that the width is twice the depth. So 1.764 so times 2. So we have 3. Point, it's 3.528 uh, meters. So again, we have to consider. I consider lang natin na yung length ng canal na to. It will be, let's say, the length is the same as 1 meter. Yeah, lang siya. So, we'll be having the volume of the efficient section. So, we can lang B sub E. That will be 3.528 multiplied by 1.764 multiplied by the length 1 meter. So, ito yung volume ng lupa na bukayin for this efficient uh, section. So, 3.528 times 1.764 times 1. So, we have 6 point. This is equal to 6.223 cubic meter. So, as you can see, okay, the same discharge, pareho yung kaya nilang i-discharge na tubig, 62.297, but smaller in terms of okay, volume of excavation. So, if we are to compete for the savings in excavation, is that the required? So find the savings in excavation per meter length. So if we are to determine that savings, that will be, let's say we have So the savings in excavation will be the volume initial minus the volume efficient. What is our initial volume? At the initial na mahukay, we have 6 point uh, 48 minus 6.223 uh, me cubic meter. So this is equal to 0.257. Alright, so we have a volume of 0 0.257 cubic meter. This is per 1 meter length of the canal. Yeah. So yun yung matitipid mo or hindi mo na kailangan bukain na lupa in constructing the open channel. So that is one application of efficient section.